Yo, what's up, boys and girls? Welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below. Raisin Canes. There's nothing sweeter than watching basketball with Raisin Canes Craveable Chicken Fingers. We did it all last week. I'm going to do it all this weekend. The next bracket busting round starts tomorrow. That means Canes all weekend long. The games are in the sweetest stage, and when you are in need of a good meal, you can trust getting your Canes combo fast through the drive through or dine-in. The crew at Raisin Canes is always ready to prepare your favorite chicken fingers, crispy crinkle-cut fries, and buttery Texas toast so that you can enjoy at mealtime. Now, if you want to play your own game, check out the Raisin Canes Underdog Challenge. Now through April April 8th, you can enter for the chance to win a free box combo from Raisin Canes whenever an underdog team prevails. It doesn't matter if it basketball is or isn't your thing this season, because Raisin Canes chicken fingers will always be the thing. Fix your cravings for all things Canes across social media when you search Raisin Canes. Satisfy your Canes fix today. There really is no other option. <coughs> we good? Yep. Yep. Wait, can we? Can can you take my phone? Are you sick, Bree? Yeah. I'm so sick. Austin's oh, sick too. I just got over a little sickness. Yeah. Everyone I know is like dying over here. Austin's uh, trying to give me. A yeah, cold. that's better. Thank you. He tried to give it to you, Dave. What did he kiss you? No, yeah, but when you're in clo smoochy. close circumstances. Ooh, a little smoochy, smoochy. Ooh. No, but Love if, is you're, in the if, if you're going to be sick in a car, then I'm going to catch what you got. What's so, going on? You tried you, to get You're him cold. Sick. I'm not sick. Yeah, all right. You hear his voice? I, that's what I said. I said he was sick. He said I lost my voice. I lost I my voice. voice. Yeah, that's I lost what, my voice yeah. too, but I, I'm also yeah. sick. Yeah, because that's a, that's a symptom of being sick. Actually. But to have zero of the symptoms is just. Yeah, okay. But you were like doing. Because <clears throat> that's what happens when you have no voice. That's called a cold. Not true. <laughs> I've, I'm not going to get into this argument. Yeah, okay. Dave. Do you feel like you have a cold now? I feel like it's his germs are inside of me. Yes, it's coming. Yes, they spent the whole week. Oh. That's a crazy way to say his germs. Are I spent of the me. whole weekend coughing. Yeah, oh. you've had a cough for like you... four months. I haven't coughed at all. You do find uh, one. All find the time. one clip of me coughing this entire weekend. It doesn't exist. You guys are fighting like a couple. <laughs> uh, BFFs. <laughs> New episode. Bree is sick. Austin yeah. is sick. Not yes. sick. Austin trying to get me sick will not happen. Kate Milton shares cancer cancer diagnose, uh, uh, diagnosis. This was in the middle of March Madness. And I guess they had to come forward because everyone's saying all this stuff about her. You know. I felt pretty uh, bad about this one. Yeah, I mean. I was I, wondering I, how you guys were going to feel about this one. For I, sure. I, I feel bad that she has cancer in the sense that I feel bad um, anybody has cancer that I don't hold a grudge against. Like nobody wants anybody to get cancer right even people i have a grudge so but i don't know her person i was gonna so say i wasn't like <laughs> devastated it's sad no i just felt bad that like the internet bullied her into being like i have cancer even though she's going through such a tough time and i fully believed the conspiracy i was like she's dead this yeah, is a clone you were one of those you yes, were actually yeah, one of those my people. hand hand yeah. up i apologize yeah i, I don't feel bad about that though at all you just I mean, feel, feel bad, bad that she has cancer. Yeah, I mean, yeah, she's the, yeah. what do they call it? the Duchess, the Princess of Wales. Like, for better or for worse, mm. when you marry into the royal family, you kind of sign a social contract that your life is public. So it's going to be very difficult true. to hide the fact that you have cancer. Um, so I, yeah. whether she's bullied, forced, like you know, I that that. I think it would. It, some people have been able to do it. I think the guy from um, Black Panther Chadwick did it Boseman. pretty well. Yeah, Chadwick yeah. Boseman. Yeah, he yeah. he went through such a long time. Yeah, and kept it quiet. It but when you're in the and yeah. I mean, there's no comparison, obviously, between an actor, a Hollywood actor, and and the the Princess of Wales. Princess. So yeah, I feel it's just awful. Anytime anyone gets cancer, it's sad. Um, yeah, I guess people yeah. are trying to like break into her records and all that stuff. Nothing surprising. The royal family is a family that everybody wants to know about. Yeah. Um, tra tra Travis Hope Kelsey to host. Soon. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Probably be very funny. I kind of like that. Yeah. Is it? I looked at this and I thought it fit. I thought it, it just made sense to me for some reason. Yeah. I, I could see it. I feel like it already happened in another world. I, I don't think I am smarter than a fifth grader. Who, who hosted this last time? Foxworthy. Jeff Foxworthy or someone else? I don't know no. why I wanted to say Chris Hansen. 
That's the wrong guy. No, that's the guy <laughs> who gets... That's another pedophile. Young... That's to catch a predator. Who? That's a different John fifth... Cena, apparently. Different fifth grader show, Bree. Different fifth John grader. John Cena? Yeah, I well, thought there was somebody Josh, else who on. did it, too. <laughs> that's Spinny it? Spinny Haddish? She seems like she'd be good at it. Like, I feel like when you're doing a fifth grader, you got to be pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah, is this a game for us to play here? Yeah, we is do this have for questions. Us to smarter, part smarter than a fifth grader, if you guys want. Oh, I'm definitely smarter than fifth grader. Oh, I think I we, should, we all I think are. we should see. All right. Well, yeah, I think on. we okay. should see. see. These are like genius fifth graders typically, though, no? I just like don't remember work? fifth grade. This shit was mad long ago. <laughs> a sal... Uh oh. Oh, I love salamanders. See, this is they're already getting, I don't even know. They're like, getting weird with it, but I'm going to say yeah, false. false. I'm going to say this. They're, they're begging us to say false here. They're begging they us are. to say false. They are. So you think it's true? They're, this has nothing to do with our knowledge. This is me out thinking the people on our the panel. Game. I'm going to say false, even though I think it's true. Okay. Okay. Oh, false. Yes. All right, cool. Yes. Let's I, go. This isn't am I smarter than fifth grader. This is am I smarter than Devin and Austin. I don't think, I think we it made is. these questions. I think these are pulled from the actual show. Okay. Right. Sure. Okay. Nice. Which U.S. state is the largest? Texas, right? I was going to say Texas. I California. See, everything I think, I'm like, I don't want to say Oh, California's say, big. I'm going to say California. Texas. Alaska. Uh, fuck, I was going to say fuck. that, but no one from remembers So they're just Alaska. asking trick-ass questions. All right, yeah, game being on. being punk-ass, trick-ass. Excluding Antarctica. I'm, I, I'm a Canadian, so I always have an out. The farthest south, Australia. Is that stupid? South America. <laughs> Excluding Antarctica, which continent reaches the farthest south? Excluding Antarctica. Um. God, was, geography was not my. I'm gonna subject, say Africa. Guys. If this were math, I'd Africa, be all right. Probably. That's where I, my. That's where my head was going. Africa, but. I'm going to go with Africa. Oh, I said that oh, after I, I said thinking. Australia. South America seems so obvious. It seemed too obvious, Lincoln. right? Lincoln. A Lincoln, yeah. <laughs> sure, A Lincoln. In the sentence, Dave is a very handsome man. What part of speech is the word very? Adjective. Adjective. Oh, I didn't even know how that question, that the format of that question. Adverb? Fuck. See, I told I guys we should air this. We should air this. We should air this. this we shouldn't air this. I, I hear. I hear. I'll just read the questions. You guys answer. In our solar system, which planet is furthest away from the sun? Didn't it used to be like Pluto? Pluto, Pluto, Pluto got I'll exiled. Stick with didn't Pluto. It? I'll stick. But with no, Pluto. it's not a planet anymore. It's not a planet anymore, guys. Don't go with that. Don't go with that. What so happened? Imagine being that? a planet forever, and there's it's a dwarf planet. Venus. It's a dwarf planet. Oh fuck! I'm just gonna say like uh, I'm I'm playing know, Travis Kelsey right now. I'm just reading the questions. Venus, Neptune. I said that. Neptune. Fuck. Who wrote the famous play Romeo and Juliet? Shakespeare. 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 Whoa. Get off me! Oh, God. there we go. Thank, thank you, thank you. If a backyard is 50 feet long and 20 feet wide. How many square feet is there? I don't do this. I don't do <laughs> square footage. Is what is it? How do you do square footage? Just I don't do. I don't do square 20? footage. I don't do square footage. Yeah. yeah. For, who does square footage? I'm not a fucking... I'm I not a landscape. Like a thousand square feet. I'm going to say a thousand know. square I feet. I, pass. I don't know. Nice job. Yep, good, there good we go. Job, I knew it. What is I told you, put the numbers on the board and I'm call. good. Photosynthesis. 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 <laughs> nice, guys. I think Bang. you're right. Okay. Yep. What is the capital of Australia? Oh, it's, fuck. I don't know. Sydney. 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 No. Perth? I don't think it is. No, Perth, I think Perth, it, Perth. I said Perth too. It's Perth. Yeah, because I know people always say Sydney, but Perth. it's not that. Oh, we were totally not even close. Canberra. Never heard of that. Place. I knew it wasn't Sydney, though. I knew right. it wasn't Sydney. We, we, so I mean, great. I'll say we're smarter. We don't know what the fifth graders did. And by the way, that's just memorization. If they're in class, big fucking whoop. I thought that's it was insane. Be it's been sense. a while since fifth grade. Yeah. This is bullshit. This next thing. Tana Mojo likes the Tampa Edition Hotel. I also saw. Um, Who's the real estate guy? Uh, Sir Hans. Yeah, he went viral because they like posting. They upgrade him to a suite. Let me say this. All right, while on tour for a podcast, Tana Mojo posted about staying at the Edition Tampa, calling the hotel beautiful, and the hotel left for custom co cookies and bought them away. There, I don't know that they're doing this just because I ripped them apart. The, the let me say it again, and I'm glad it keeps coming up. The Tampa Bay edition is the worst hotel in America. 
It's the most overpriced ripoff. Now, whether they paid her to do this for free, Tana Mojo, by proxy, almost should be in prison for promoting <laughs> the Tampa Bay edition. It's that bad of a hotel. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Tana, they gave Tana the room for free, gave her all these goodies. She doesn't know how expensive the room probably is. And she's like, oh, this is sweet. I'm getting all this free stuff. And it's like relatively nice. But if she saw the price of the room, maybe she wouldn't think it was all that. I'm texting her right now. She posted like 15 stories about it. The Tampa Bay, you should be in prison for promoting the Tampa <laughs> Bay. You should be locked up and thrown in prison for promoting the Tampa Bay. Now, here's what the Tampa Bay edition doesn't really get. If they're like, we're not going to try to do anything to lower prices, make it right, they haven't said a word to me. My word, great, Tana, go do your thing. My word in this carries probably a billion, like I am seen as somebody who like Tana's an influencer through and through like posting a hotel she probably posts a lot of us I never talk about hotels until the Tampa Bay edition I go do pizza reviews I review I give honest reviews the Tampa Bay edition for a normal human they they should be locked up Tana should be locked up it's the most overpriced garbage in the world and I stayed shout out global ambassador and Four Seasons. Four Seasons in Boston, Global Ambassador. Four Seasons, 2500 The room was 10X. 10X what the edition was. I paid five grand for the Global Edition. Now, they were super nice, left like presents for Miss Peaches. They had my favorite snacks. Forget it. The room itself, 100X. Tampa Bay Edition, they, that hotel should be bulldozed. You know, you know what's five grand a night? Is those huts on the water in Bora Bora. Yeah, that it's crazy. The Tampa Bay, that's <laughs> the if the Tampa Bay edition was charging nine hundred bucks for that suite, I'd be like, all right, it's a little bit overpriced. Five grand knocked the hotel down. <laughs> knocked the Tampa Bay edition down. <laughs> yeah, they're robbing people blind. That's crazy. robbing. And then Tana yeah. Mojo, they got Tana Mojo and that sir. You should be that I bet that's not a coincidence. I do not think that you're starting to see Tampa influencers. Being like, oh, this is a great hotel. They'll take a paycheck. They're doing. They, they'll do anything. They're probably doing Fair. Tampa Bay edition like crypto coins. I, I I do think I doubt Tana knows about your you talking about it or how expensive it is though. Bree's trying to do good PR for us. We just no. Got I on the actually good side I actually canceled, believe that. Like Bree's I don't think Tana. To, like, who? Keep if the water Tana no. knew. I talked to Brooke. Yeah, DM'd I talked to Brooke like every day. Yeah, because she well, tagged me yeah. being like, we didn't miss. They did like 300 shows or something, and they weren't late once. They're like, Dave would be proud. I, I don't know if I was proud. I was stunned. I'm like, that's good. Good that, for you guys. They yeah, really that like is great. went that is hard great. in the paint. With yeah. yeah, so I was like, great job. And I heard you and Josh yeah. made up. But but this, now Tana has got to go to jail. That sucks for her. <laughs> <bail> her <laughs> jail. <laughs> jail. <laughs> Maybe she doesn't place. know how much the rooms cost. I, that's what I'm saying. That's what I think. Bree did say that twice, yeah. Because if you're be like, oh, they're so good at the Tampa edition, five grand for that piece of trash, please. Um, Millie Bobby Brown is a Karen. Millie Bobby Brown calls us Karen after revealing that she leaves reviews under a fake name. Millie says her whole life is having people criticize her, so she's going to give it back sometimes, thinks it's important to know where you went wrong. All right. That's me being like, yeah, you got to let the Tampa Bay edition know. <laughs> yeah, that's actually true. I don't think this is she's yeah. very much a Karen in this video. But she's just she so was, well spoken. She, she's it. coming in. What is she's in a new movie I saw or something? Her movie Damsel? Yes. Did you see it? Yeah. The, no. I just saw her a I preview. Wa I watched it. How was it? Did you like it, Brie? I honestly, yeah, I love Millie Bobby Brown. I think it's like probably a not that good of a movie, but she crushed it. Okay. Uh Happy Gilmore 2. Is in the works. Do we have to watch this video of her being a Karen? No, it's basically what the headline said. Okay. Uh, Happy Gilmore 2 is in the works. Nice. Excited. You got to be, awesome. be delicate. You got to be delicate with it. It's oh, so yeah. good. Yeah. Can't fuck it I, up. I wonder what's the lane they go down for the second one. 
because he's old, right? Like Adam Sandler's old at this point. Like in the movie world, I, I'm not saying he's like an old man. I guess he's like you know not as young as he was when he filmed the first one. But I mean, the thing the, about golf is he could still definitely be on tour reasonably. Yeah, right. So do you think yeah. it's like is it like a last last tour kind Maybe of? Maybe shoot him a Gavin's like. like has a his kid is now a bully on tour or something. Yeah, or he like yeah. comes out. He That's comes back for one last tour or something. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Visible. Draining a half court buzzer beater to win the game, not easy. Switching to visible and saving on wireless with no hidden fees, yeah, that's pretty easy. Switch to visible, the wireless company with nothing to hide, and get one line wireless with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon, just $25 a month every month. Taxes and fees include one line wireless, just $25 a month. Taxes and fees included. Visible is the wireless company with nothing to hide, no hidden fees, no gutches, unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. Bench wireless with hidden fees and switch to Visible. Switch now at Visible.com. Rate with service on the Visible plan for additional terms and network management practices. See Visible.com. Willy Wonka organizer says the event ruined his life. The director of the House Illuminati organization, Billy Cool, says his life is ruined after hosting the Glasgow Willy Wonka event and that he's lost friends and the love of his life. After having Damn. some mishaps, including booking too big of a venue and having equipment not being delivered, Billy thought they could push on. And when he, when he snapped at upset customers, he was the worst version of himself. My life is ruined. I've lost my friends, lost my love. Uh, I've made out to be the face of evil. And generally, that's not really the case. Okay. Damn, like, I don't know if I really sucks. feel bad for this guy. Yeah, it's a tough situation, but you put on the event. <laughs> yeah, like I and then I'm you no one's snapped at people that were mad, and you were evil, the worst version of yourself. He, Seems like you're uh, crazy, know. buddy. Yeah, and he looks evil even in this picture. Yeah, look like, at the, you can look, his eyes. Does. You know when people like yeah. smile with their eyes, he's frowning yeah. with his eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He looks like he's growling. Oh, geez. Nicole Hager eyes. Nicola Peltz Beckham cut her husband Brooklyn Beckham from her movie. Nicola Peltz Beckham says Brooklyn Beckham is really upset. She cut his scene from her directed debut in new film Lola. Nicola says she had one line, but he kept saying it in a British accent. He was staring directly into the camera. Although she cut him <laughs> and said she wouldn't have been able to make the film without his massive support. Who cares? What does Beckham care? That's kind of funny. I don't want him yeah, in the movie anyways. It's like, it's Beckham. Like, do your own thing. I, I get it. Yeah, let her have yeah, her hey, show. Hey. And do your own. Yeah. Let her have right. a moment. And I respect the decision. I respect the decision. No Nepo there. 2024 World Happiness Report. For the first time since the report was released 12 years ago, the United States didn't crack the top 10 happiest countries. We came in at 23. I, I believe that. Oof. Everyone's fucking miserable here. Yeah, everyone's like all fucked up and goes to therapy and is all fucking sad. <laughs> Here's the list. Yep. Finland. I, I buy it. Denmark, buy it. Iceland, buy it. Sweden, buy it. Israel, do not buy it. Uh, Netherlands, buy it. At number five? It. Yeah, that seems like maybe this was taken before all hell broke loose there. Yeah. Luxembourg, yeah. buy it. Switzerland, buy it. Australia, buy it. New Zealand, buy it. Costa Rica, buy it. Kuwait, went in against it. Austria, buy it. Canada, no. Belgium, yes. Ireland, Chet. What? Chechnya? Canada is definitely up there. I would buy Canada. Is that Czech? What is that? Czechia? Czechia. What is Czech Czechia? Mm, one of the happiest che countries in the world. Interesting. Lithuania and United Kingdom. You, you think Canada belongs? I feel like everyone's miserable in Canada. Aren't half Canada's trying to leave what? Canada, Josh? Why would people be miserable in Canada? Isn't like part yeah, of Canada trying, trying to, to defect from Canada? But didn't work though. You mean Quebec? Quebec, yeah. yeah. You're talking about like Quebec? Yeah, I think. That that whole resurgence happens every once in a while, but no, well, I can't be I that happy. happy if you like, let me get the fuck out of here. I mean, I don't know. I think they're That's pretty. Actually I think Canada's point. pretty happy. I, I think I happy think it's you know definitely happier than definitely happier than the United States. But um, yeah. I don't think it's going in the. I will say, there's more division in Canada than I think I've ever seen before being a Canadian. So. Uh, it's not going in the right direction. My I think Cyrus Finland's won like four years. Finland's ago, always right? happy. Yeah, no, Finland's yeah. always happy. Like yeah, they, they just know what's up over there. Tons I feel of like they might be just a, rolling around, keeping everybody happy. Or is that, that Sweden? Might be what it, they might. Sweden, Sweden, Probably both. They might be Miley a little Cyrus, too happy though. Like we've, annoyingly, we've happy. done that. Yeah, three times. Miley Cyrus <laughs> named Disney legend. No shit. Duh. File that into duh. 
Yeah, obviously. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't even know that Disney Legends were a thing, though. Jamie Lee Curtis and Angela Bassett. What? These are Disney Legends? Kelly Ripa Kelly and Harrison Ripa? Ford. Harrison Ford? Harrison Kelly Ford's Ripa. definitely a Disney Legend. Who the fuck? Kelly Ripa? Is that the blonde girl that has a that daytime show? Yeah. Why so is she a Disney, Disney legend? Oh. ABC. Kel Kelly and um it used to be Regis and Kelly. Regis and Kelly, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh this headline again. Bryce Hall versus Taylor Holder. Bare knuckle fight. Bryce Bryce Hall says Bare Knuckle FC. We'll be in touch with Taylor Holder to have a fight between the two. Okay. I will not talk about that until they're in the ring. Because I don't think it's ever yeah. happening. Yeah, fair um, enough. Ila, Isa Gonzalez says she's lost roles because of her looks. Isa Gonzalez, she's been told she's too pretty, too hot for so many projects. Uh, she says it's Sad. disappointing. Overly sexualized idea of a Latin woman that her white friends weren't experiencing. Well, you can be too hot for roles. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's like, I feel like that's not a bad problem to have. No, I, I, it's better than being too ugly for pretty roles. But like, just like ugly Definitely. people aren't going to play a role that maybe in like the Wolf of Wall Street, you're not having Melissa McCarthy be the lead, you know? Yeah, like if you're trying to be like the, like the, the girl next door kind of like comes yes. into character. Like, but if you're just walking around like Eliza Gonzalez, you're just like yeah, obviously the hottest girl in the world. Right. So you're not going to be the dorky loser and, and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Boo hoo, you're too hot. Yeah. I don't know if you should cry about yep. this one. <clears throat> uh, Boeing executive set to resign. And this is after what? The movie about it or something? Oh, the whistleblower that mysteriously yeah, died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Test. Yeah. Yep. XQC buys new clothes before, instead of doing laundry. I don't really know who XQC is, a streamer, but I don't. Okay, I, streamer. he is a big streamer. Yeah, that's that's fine. I don't care any. Yeah, I, I do yeah he, at least he's donating the other clothes. Yeah. yeah, he's donating the clothes he doesn't buy. His, so he's so. donating his dirty clothes. Well, I'm Born sure they once. get washed. Everyone donates their. But if he yeah, washes it, why not hard. keep it? And why do you have to buy new ones? I'm saying I'm sure the lawn, like the place that takes uh, donated clothes, okay. washes the All clothes. Right, right. Yeah, typically. Yeah. Uh, Kai Sinet involved in a live police chase. Kai Sinet was watching a live police chase when allegedly turned out to be one of his fans. The alleged man involved in a car chase went on Instagram live says watching Kai's stream. Kai yelled at the man to pull over. This seems like a stunt. These steam and maybe it's not, but I these streamers are just can you top this? Can you top yeah. this? Can you top this? So it's tough to believe. i this is like the most I feel like streamers are taking over. I haven't like heard about streamers, and now all I see and hear of is like sketch and Kai and the guy that's always with sketch they're kind of crushing jinxy yes uh, yeah the i thought this i thought this uh police chase thing happened like a long long time ago do we know if this is like really old news Austin, that, that would be on our like, our crack staff if our crack old. staff is fact checking right now that would be a real shame if old. we're talking about something old and uh, on top of that i'm pretty sure from what I saw it seemed like he was like, oh, pull over, or do this, do Six that. Days like ago. Kai was saying stuff. Oh, that's not that okay. bad. Okay, okay. Not right. that bad. Are, are we sure? I swear I saw this months ago. but Maybe, maybe they do it else. a lot. If it's maybe a it was stunt. a yeah, different thing. Alex Cooper for Skims. Alex Cooper is the face of Kim Kardashian's Skims wedding shop. Ugh. Yeah, you don't like this, obviously, because it's Kim no. Kardashian. Hate it. Hate she Kim looks great, though. Hate it. <laughs> is Dave going to Alex's wedding? No, wasn't. What? You're not? No, I uh, I did. I what? Let me uh, let me see here. Is it a small wedding? I doubt it. Uh oh. <laughs> I texted her February 24th. It's bullshit. I didn't get invited to your wedding. Good for you. What'd she say? And what did she say? She said, Dave, three crying emoji faces. It's just family, a couple friends. It's very small. How are you doing post-breakup? Your dog is very cute. I wouldn't have gone anyways. I like to say you no. You like to be invited, yeah. I like to be yeah. invited so I can be like, no, thanks, I'm busy. Would you go to me and Josh's wedding if we had one? Depends where it is, but probably. All right. Like if Josh is, you, your girlfriend's from where, Josh? Brazil? Yeah. 
not not going to brazil so write that in your notes oh. <laughs> if you want to, okay. to attend you can't do it in brazil <laughs> correct you don't uh, you don't uh, like destination weddings not brazil no not particularly i don't like what if it was a different destination how far, how far is the plane ride is brazil Oh, you are not up for that plane ride. Trust me. It's going to be like 12, 16 yeah, hours. Yeah, so yeah. So you, no you do what you want. You tell Gabby if we're getting married and we want Dave there. Like Brazil, Only eight and a half hours from Miami. Still still. Oh, enough. okay. It's still close to Miami. Oh. I'd fly to Brazil, Josh. Thank you. No problem. Thank you. Uh, Dan Blazarian figured out he likes monogamy. After years of having sex with multiple women today, Dan Blazarian reveals he's realized it's actually better to be with one woman who he enjoys spending time with having a mental connection with. Wow. Okay. I don't think that's like that crazy of a statement if you find the one, right? Yeah, no. Uh, Seems it's like funny a... that he thinks it's like this big aha moment. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, right. Relax. <laughs> Alpha Male Boot Camp goes viral. An Alpha Male Boot Camp in California called the Modern Day Night Project is going viral after a video released one of the instructors yelling at the men in class. According to their website, the course runs from Tuesday to Friday. costs 18 grand. Is this real? Let's see. Wait, th this is not clip. even like, they're not even in the military or anything? They're just being alphas? Yeah. 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 Oh Let's see the clip. God. Just alpha male. I feel like this could be fake. Look to your left as your right. More than 60% of you will not be here fucking Friday. I guarantee it. And I'll make sure because I see in your fucking eyes that most of you don't fucking belong here. And I'll be dead. And I'll take this fucking knife off my fucking waist and carve this fucking tattoo off my fucking hand before the fucking bitches show up here on Friday for the graduation. I see in your fucking eyes already. Your fucking souls are mine. I think this is fake. Damn. He's not even that scary. Like he says, he's in the, the wall I, of access. He just says the F word him. a lot. He just says I, F word so much. Yeah, and yeah. he like stuttered. Like he, he he didn't feel like he really even believed what he and was saying. And what are you getting out of this if you're got, like, you just get whooped on for a week? Yeah, and you're going to be like, now. I went to Alpha Camp. Fake. I think this is fake. Um, it, you have to be Walmart. Real. To, what's that? So this is their website. It's actually real. No, that doesn't mean it's real. No. I believe everything I see online. That's, <laughs> I think it's real. There's a bunch of sold out classes. Yeah, no, I think it's left. fake. It. Oh my God, I, I would die to see you two go to the Alpha I think it's camp. fake as fuck. Dave, Do you should think we go you guys could survive guys the Alpha camp? LA? No, not if that's real. <laughs> but Dave, I say we go do it and we get mic'd up and we go undercover. When <laughs> we please, go to LA, please. When you guys oh my God, it's in California. I, yeah, that's also all adds up. very strange the way it's like everything sold out, but there's 17 spots left on the yeah. only one that hasn't happened yet. Oh, two spots for you guys. You, but look, you dude, it's it's helped other men flip the switch. That's That might be what we need. Don't knock it until you try it, guys. Like I'm not going in a cold tub. I'm not, I'm not pretending I'm a Marine. Uh, you have to be a Walmart subscriber to use self-checkout. That's fucked. Why would they do that? What? Also, what benefits do I get from subscribing to Walmart? Do you guys have shows? Um, do you have originals? I think you get like free shipping. Yeah, maybe. It's 13 bucks a month. Gosh. Damn. You have to you have to be going to Walmart enough where you need self-checkout where that would make sense for your budget. You got to be what saving we're doing money here too. on the Austin program is fake headlines new movie about the devil earned six hundred sixty six thousand six hundred sixty six dollars <laughs> on the first day of release no it didn't yeah we're no, fake head didn't. that's a fake headline right there it's, it's the fakest headline ever no more fake headlines please austin make a note like noted let's let's not talk about fake headlines noted thank you <laughs> All right, guys, quick commercial break. It's golf. It's not golf. It's top golf. If you've never heard of them, they have all the stuff to make them legit golf, like balls, clubs, turf, and even a ball picker up or cart thing. But they're not very much not golf, too. So there's loud music, giant targets, climate controlled bays, and unbeatable food and drinks day or night. Top golf is so fun. If you're bored, if you just want something to do, if you want to get and hang out with your friends, this is the perfect activity. Since they want everyone to play, they just launched half off golf Monday through Wednesday when you book it in their app. And all you have to do is book a Monday 
Monday through Wednesday in their app, and they'll give you half off the golf. So, of course, even though they have some rules, half off golf Monday through Wednesday applies to gameplay only. It isn't offered at the Vegas venue. It is only available when you book in their app, but make sure to check out Top Golf. It's so fun. I spent so many nights going to Top Golf with my friends in college. It's the best. So, for full details, uh, book a bay, download the Top Golf app, or visit topgolf.com forward slash BFF. That's topgolf.com forward slash BFF. So, make sure to check it out and go have some fun. Tara Yummy is dating Landon Barker because she's in the new video. Is that where we're supposed to believe? Landon Barker releases a new music video over you. It doesn't say and they're Tara, dating, Dave. Well, I, I, it, the last week we said they were. Landon Barker releases a new music video over you, and Tara Yummy is playing character. People think is meant to be Charlie Damalo. Landon and Tara also shut down dating rumors and dropouts. Okay, so they're not dating. There, you happy, Brie? Mm. <laughs> yeah, you've never yeah, Brie, said, you you said Damalo dating? instead of Damayo. You're happy there's no love? What'd you say, Josh? I said you're happy there's no love. Well, yeah, I didn't dating. think, I don't think they should be together. What does that mean? I don't know. It does not, it doesn't seem like a fit in my head. I feel like Tara needs a, Tara, sorry. Tara needs a, like a, an outgoing loud dude or something to match her energy. Uh, oh. Euphoria season three is in jeopardy. Delayed filming once again because of creative show Sam Levins is alleging not done the script. There's room to be set sometime in the future, so the actors will likely not be playing high schoolers. The in-demand actors are on the show are allowed to pursue other opportunities in the meantime. That's fine. The Euphoria. show crumbled anyways. It did? I per- it turned into like a musical. Uh, people are going to shit on me for saying that, but it, it lost its touch, I think. Uh, the Quiet on Set Nickelodeon documentary. You guys were talking a little bit this before. I haven't yep. watched this, but I guess it's it's, it's really a hard the dark, watch. dark side of kids TV. Yeah, it's really really sad. Yeah, and Drake Bell. specifically like the Dan Schneider Nickelodeon yeah. situation. Did you watch it, Josh? Uh, I haven't watched it. Um, I've obviously seen clips and like watched you know segments that have been kind of cut down and put out on social, but uh. No, I haven't. I haven't turned it on yet. I mean, there was like two actual pedophiles on set working with the children that like got arrested for pedo- being pedophiles and like that's not good. Sending children like pictures and then Drake Bell Ugh. got assaulted. It's really yeah, creepy. A lot of scary stories. It's scary. So if I say, if you have a child, never let them be a child actor. Were we back in the mix on this because of something Josh Peck said during yeah. our? It wasn't, I mean, it wasn't, it was just the the way that he talked about Drake because he didn't say anything publicly after Drake came out with this. So people were in like, you didn't support him. And then our clips went re-viral of him basically being like, we were never friends, we were never close. But Got I don't it. think that's fair to, nobody knew about uh, Drake being assaulted. So I, I think it's not fair well, to attack Drake, Josh Peck about it. Even Drake said, don't attack him. Yeah, I was going to say Drake did post something and was like, hey, lay off Josh Peck. He's like called me and like we've talked and he's yeah. been someone that has like like been a ear for me to like kind of, you know, talk to and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, I think it's it's such a crazy situation. It's crazy to throw. Yeah, something that's serious shouldn't like that. be like public opinion thing. I, I don't think. Uh, Caitlin Clark, women's tournament, NCAA tournament updates. I mean, I follow this closely. I like the women's game almost more than the men's this year because of all the stars in it. I will be going to Albany if uh, Iowa plays LSU in the Elite Eight. I will be there. So I'm closely watching that. Hell yeah. Uh, uh, We could probably get once this tournament is done. I think Caitlin would probably come on BFFs. I know. I think. She's cool. Yeah. I'm going to try to get her to. She's a baller. One of Zach's shows to sing Revival in Iowa. What? You know how that, huh? remember me and Josh sang Revival up Zach's show? You're try, going to try to get her to sing it? She's going to. I already talked to her. Oh, you talked to Caitlin Clark? Yeah, we're more, we've, I've DM'd her, started talking to her last year. You did? Yeah. I love Caitlin Clark. It was put on the oh. sheet. It was brought up in our meeting that Bree's a huge Caitlin Clark. I'm fan. a Caitlin Clark fucking stan. She's sick. I don't remember you being in the in the weeds with me when I was very heavily in the weeds with her last year when she like, was I don't like remember a, that either. I was getting attacked by the entire country. Why well, uh, mm. I was I remember talking about that on BFFs. Interesting. I don't remember that. And Do I DM'd her to Austin? tell I told her to come on let me see let me check my DMs with her. Oh, okay. Check the DMs. I DM'd her last year. I'm not lying. Who do you think is closer between the two of you with her? Well, you guys, do you guys I th- talk Yeah, we DM too. Yeah, no, we DM too. We do. Yeah, last year, right. April 2nd. Me and her 2nd. don't DM. 
Okay. April 2nd. We don't DM. Mm-hmm. Let's see what I got. You probably predate me, but that was last year. No, no, I get it. You're awesome. Is that what I was saying, Dave? Maybe you've got closer in the shorter period of time. I just I just hit her with good luck. Sounds like a custody battle. Did you ask her to come on BFFs? I haven't yet, no. I guess it's just a race to who can ask her first then. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, Rebel Wilson versus Sasha Baron Cohen. <laughs> so what is this? this she's, Rebel Wilson was coming out with a book and Sasha Cohen tried to block it? Yep. Wait, what? Rebel Wilson, I've been teasing. Oh, she was working with a massive asshole. And she will talk about it in her upcoming book, Rebel Rising. She later revealed that that mega asshole is Sasha Barrett Cohen and that he hired her crisis PR manager's lawyers to threaten her to stop writing about him. Sasha's team said the claims are false and there's no evidence to prove it. 2014 Rebel had said Sasha wanted to do the naked scene in the Brothers Grinsby movie when she denied by a hot... To, and when she denied, he hired a body double. Rebel said that Sasha also wanted her to stick his finger up his butt during the scene as a funny bit. Sasha is um, Borat, yeah? Yeah, Ali G, yeah. Borat, yeah, yeah. all the same guy. Well, this is yeah. this is crazy. So funny. Well, he might be a creep. Well, well to clarify. Uh, where did she say he was a creep? He was making a comedy movie and asked them to shove a finger up a butt kind of a part of the movie i don't know that's weird didn't she say someone else is she the one who is like <laughs> never mind what? never mind what 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 were you gonna say i feel like this is the second time yeah she did something like that's in court. i don't know what it was rebel wilson what, has said she... somebody tried to like make fun of her be like stick a finger up the butt <laughs> this is double butt offense by the way, she's, I'm pretty what sure it's that Rebel Sasha. Rebel Wilson, Rebel Wilson ordered to repay millions in defamation case? She won a defamation case and had to pay most of it back. Why? Media is over articles that she portrayed her as a serial liar. They won appeal and went from 4.1 million to 600 grand. So she I don't know. We're getting into an area where we don't yeah. know. Yeah, yeah. we're, gonna, step, we're talking out of our out ass. Of one, right? Yeah. Hey, talking out of our ass because of the finger in the ass thing. Um, damn. Well, did he? I, I, uh, I don't know. Anyways, move on. Let's get out of this one. Sp other crazy shit. Diddy's house was raided by Homeland Security. This is crazy. Yep. Yeah. And now Diddy like fled the country or some shit? Yeah. Yeah. I saw that too. What's so. going on? Did he earlier today, Homeland Security, uh, New York ex executed a law enforcement action as part of an ongoing investigation with assistance with HDI LA, uh, HSI Miami, and our local law enforcement partners would provide further information. His home was raided. After Diddy's home was raided, he was seen pacing around in the Miami airport. Diddy's private jet has allegedly landed in Antigua, although it's clear, unclear if Diddy is there. It was raided I, for possible sex trafficking investigation. Crazy. What is going on? Yeah. So this crazy. This is insane. Uh, crazy. Also, how did he get that heads up? That's what I want to know. How did he get the heads up that he was about to get raided? Because you think it's a coincidence he just happened to be flying out the country? Because I doubt it. He yeah. Definitely got I mean, a heads up. Yeah. Yeah. Someone definitely tipped him. Um, Corruption, man. It's crazy. Drake, J. Cole, and Kendrick Lamar have a beef for the last decade. Drake and Kendrick Lamar has suddenly been throwing disses at one another. This came to a head after Kendrick threw direct shots at Drake and J. Cole on his verse on song like that. With Metro booming in future, Metro and Drake also have beef. Uh, if you guys want to talk about great, I don't really know anything about this, and I don't really care. Josh, you like rap? Do you know I mean, about this? I'm not, I don't rap really war. Know. Rap war. Rap war. <laughs> it is a little bit of a rap war. Everyone's like choosing sides. People are unfollowing Drake. Rick Ross just unfollowed Drake. I think it's pretty Why? crazy. I think it's, I think, I think this is going to, this is an album move. I, that's what I think, right? It's like, uh, oh, we're all going to be successful. Like now this album is like becoming the most talked about album number one, right? So Metro Boomin and all them, like just smart move for them. Not that the album wouldn't have done well, but you know, this just helps it. And then Drake and J. Cole can now do a collab album, come out with that and kind of diss them back. 
and then everyone's just getting crazy album sales. That's my uh, my idea because Metro Boomin and Drake have worked together a bunch. Like Metro Boomin has made millions of dollars probably. I don't even know how you say that guy's name like with a straight face. Metro Boomin, that's his like rap name. <laughs> he's like he's a producer. He's a producer. He's not a rapper. Metro so he, Boomin, you know. Boom. He's he's making the beats and everything. Metro Boomin. So it kind of makes sense for that, right? Like, mm. but uh, yeah, I just think I just think when you look at it, I think there's got to be, I think there's a little bit of some like, hey, let's like have some fun with this rap beef. I don't know though. I'm not, you know, on the inside. You know, I just want a Drake J Cole album. Who who would you? Either pick? way, it's gonna be Who's fun team to watch. You I mean, I'm I'm I would be on Drake and J Cole's side personally. You know, gotta represent the six. I think that's the way. Uh, but also, I think it's just. I think it's just going to be fun to watch because we're just going to get great music out of it. So I'm happy either way. All right, thanks for. It's a win for the rap community. Yeah. Uh, yep. BFF corner. I don't know how much we go. I, I the Brooke Allman. I feel like I've I flushed her down the toilet like the trash she is. Yeah, good um, work, honestly on that. <laughs> yeah, she's a racer profile. She posted a video being like, "Oh, I'll go. I'll talk to Dave. I'll talk to Dave." delete like the coward she is i made a response video being like all right you want to do it let's do it um she played the tough gal routine for about three seconds she's like hey i'll come in wednesday on this date and sit down with you face to face i was like let's fucking do it you idiot you won't do it then she bailed um and was like this is so unfair. I'm being harassed. I'm a normal person. I'm like, listen, you psycho. No one even know who the fuck you were if you didn't keep posting on Breeze. I know, and you're Snot. sad you're being harassed when you go on yeah. to someone's hate page on Reddit to harass adult, them, you fucking and, and, dumb ass. Not to mention, she thinks we're dumb. Like, people all screenshotted her post. She literally has a post out there that says, hey, I was posting on Zach's snark page but it was dead over there this so i came over here to liven things up like she's a little <laughs> attention seeking piece of shit and then she's I, she doesn't know me very well like you, you if you hit someone with a feather i'll try to knock your teeth out with a wrench metaphorically speaking um <laughs> so she's just like oh poor me woe is me it's like no one has sympathy for you just keep your mouth shut none of this would have happened and then they're always we're gonna sue you dave like for what you fucking clown so she's gone right didn't she is she erased yeah. herself now yeah she went private deleted her reddit and then she stopped responding to us broom her out like the trash <laughs> you was never gonna get in the ring you coward of course oh i'll do it i there's nothing i knew more in the history of the world than this person would never sit and i wouldn't either if i was her we have all her idiotic and by the way i'm sure you see the dirt that was sent to us about her from her friend from her friends is enough to stack a mile high so yeah no shit she went private deleted everything and ran away like the coward she is good riddance this get off good of that. Riddance. We'll ho hopefully never have to mention that piece of work's name again this was funny this was really J funny. <laughs> Jersey Jerry, who's been working us now for years, DM <laughs> sent Brianna a DM. Hey, Brianna, this is Jerry. I work, I work <laughs> with you at Barstool, uh, and I've been asked to contact you from, I don't even know there, and you just replied, Bri, Jerry, I know who you are. It would be bananas not to know. I've, but, like, <laughs> I've sat down and had conversations with Jerry in the office before. That's so why I was like, Jerry, I know who you are. <laughs> Yeah, and, and that's this Jerry is, being honest. Like I, I know. He, that is he's a humble he's, king. <laughs> he's like this is Jerry from. Um, <laughs> this is like in high school when someone's like, yeah, it's like they think you're like pop more popular than them, so they have to be like, yo, yeah, it's Josh from high school. Like we have geography <laughs> together. Like, Jerry, I know who you are. <laughs> very, very, very funny. Did you know that you can get tickets to see Whitney Cummings on O'Malley live in New York right now for only 56 bucks. We still got to figure out when we're going to go to show, what show we're going to see. That's right. With Game Time, the official ticketing partner of Barcelona Sports, you shouldn't have to worry when you buy tickets to your next big event. Game Time is the fast, easy way to buy tickets to all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you. They have flash deals for sudden discounts, zone deals for when you're feeling flexible, and their lowest price guarantee means that if you can find the same seats for less anywhere else, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. Game Time is the best place for last minute seats with up to 60% off all your favorite events. What are you waiting for? Get your tickets now. 
Take the guesswork out of buying tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, use the code BFF for 20 bucks off your first purchase. Again, right now they got Winning Cummings and O'Malley in New York for only 56 bucks. Terms apply. Download the Game Time app today. Last minute tickets, lowest price guaranteed. I did see this. I did see a cat came back at me. Yeah, I like Because this. I said I was smashing cats. This is funny. Wait, you said you were smashing cats? Yeah. Oh. You- this is two different videos, I think, then. What? No. Time, hold. Time out. Time out. What are you doing? Making fun of cat people, not oh. literally smash. What do you think? I'm a fucking, like, animal abuser? I, said, I just if you never heard cats, anyone say, like, crazy. Uh, maybe yeah, you, bashing, not smashing. You guys are just yeah, going to let that go out into the fucking air. Like, Dave smashes, like, beats up cats. Hey, no. <laughs> I was so I don't confused. Know. No, no, no. Smashing has so many terms. You should have said bashing. Not smashing. Whatever. We were saying yeah, having smashing, cats. So smashing we almost has podcast. like a sexual, has like a sexual like innuendo to it. That you like cats. This cat's awesome. Yeah, this cat's not bad. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't it's hate that. Oh, I like cat. this cat. That yeah, that, I like that this cat's cat. okay. That that's yeah, hey, he, it's he, the exception that proves the rule. Uh, okay. hear me out, TikTok. I saw this too. Good. This was girls just freaking out over me, so I'll take it. Well, some oh, being nice. like, you're gross. <laughs> I don't know why that song is hilarious. <laughs> hey, yeah, sipping his you. coffee. He knows. <laughs> I'll take it. Usually it's like, oh, he's gross, so I'll take that. Um, <laughs> Josh yeah. went on Jake Shane's podcast, Ther- Therapus. Yep. Talked about his broken arm, Therapist. read the room, help give advice to the pussies. Many commenters thought Jake was flirting with Josh during the episode. Why is he gay? Yes, he's gay. Yes. Was he flirting with you? I think we're just like friendly. I don't think he, I don't think he was flirting. Tonight, Maybe a little bit. We have a very special That's just like who, how Jake is. He goes by the name of Joshua Richards and he is so hot. Okay, he is so hot. Oh, I wasn't there for this. I wasn't and there for this. It was an honor to sit next to him. He is hot, he is funny, and he is unfortunately taken. But we get into that a little bit. Yeah, that's not flirting. Okay. No, he's no just being like he's, just being a, he's just complimenting. Objectively hot. Yeah. Um, R.I.P. Jonathan Crenshaw, a.k.a. how he's pulling that guy. He's been dead for a while. That, but that's what I thought, he was yeah. In, yeah, but it just became like a local publication actually ran a story on it, so it went viral again. Oh. Um, yeah. Oh, I didn't see this. Dogs up for adoption named after BFFs. Waldo's Rescue Pen, a nonprofit dog rescue organization in New York, named dogs that are up for adoption <gasps> after Barcel employees in honor of Dave and Miss Peaches. So we got a Brianna Chicken Fry, Josh Richards, a Grace O'Malley, Tommy <gasps> Smokes, Miss Peaches, and a Dave Portnoy. They have like Dude. pretty much everyone from Barstool. It's adorable and a really good way to get people oh to go look goodness. and adopt these dogs. Josh Richards now is I'm so have fucking to adopt cute. It. That's what I was just looking at. I'm like, I might have to go adopt the dog, Josh Richards. I know. They're all so, so cute. cute. Yeah. Oh. But yeah, it's in New York. So if you guys want to adopt a dog in New York, go check out Waldo's Rescue Pen. Oh, They're all so, so, so cute. cute. So, so cute. Except Kate's. That's the only one that people are pointing out that this is Barstool. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> but what did Kate say about that? Dog. I, don't, I think she went Oh, Barstool Nate. Her. That's funny. Look at Barstool Nate. Yeah, that, that, that's Barstool a terrible mix, cute. too. Barstool Nate should have been Barstool Kate. <laughs> yeah. But I kind of like Nate crazy so looking cute. dogs like that. Yeah, it's probably a fun and cute little, little yeah, rat yeah. dog. Um, I guess we can read comments before we end this one. I have suntan lotion getting into my eye. Oh, at least you're using protection. Yeah. You like the new Miss Peaches app, by the way? It's actually sick. So we're still doing every cent that Miss Peaches gets, we donate to charity. She's up to like, she's raised close to 500 grand now. Wow. Let's go, Miss wow. Peaches. Yep. Closing on 900,000 Instagram followers. We got to get to that milli. Get to that milli, baby. Yep. Dave would be the best dad. His loyalty is unreal to the ones he loves. Children's are missing out. Oh, it all goes Miss Peaches. Yeah. I guess you are dad. Yeah, Miss Peaches is like your yeah. kid now. Yeah. I made a Reddit account just to defend Brie and immediately got banned from this page. 
I didn't know that was a thing. When you enter a snark page and you disagree with them or say something positive, you get banned because that's the rules of the Reddit page, which is just a crazy thing. Crazy. Yeah. Yep. Can Josh get any more stunning G's? I mean, wow, thanks, guys, Anthony. Nice for you. Thanks, Anthony. You can always try for you. That was actually my roommate upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> he commented that. I don't feel as poor anymore now. What's LK? I know. I know. I know. Me and know. Dave got the same laptop. Yeah, I'm old school with the laptop. And every time I show my headphones, people are like, why you got the wired headphones? And yet, there's articles all over the internet that cool kids wear wired headphones. I like wired headphones. Me too. Hey, Drake Drake wears wired headphones, Dave. The other ones fall out of my ears. Me too. And, and they're just not as you good. You lose them. Yeah, you lose them too much. And imagine an apology from Josh Richards. Wet, 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 wet. Um, I don't get it. I'm, that was in reference. I'm to confused the, by the this apology to Brooke. That wasn't really an apology. Oh, oh. So oh. if I said sorry, this woman would then squirt. Seems that seems way. Seems like, like yeah. Insinuation. Although it seems like you're getting a lot of guys. That could be a guy. Yeah, that's jibby jib. Oh, jib jib. Jib jib. <laughs> jib, -jib. jib, -jib. Good. Good. I'd take a chicken fry over an almond any day. Yeah, chicken fries are way better than almonds. <clears throat> okay. I don't have a voice in my head. I still have thoughts. They just aren't in the form of an inner voice. They're just in my head. The first time I heard people had a voice in their head, I thought people were messing with me. But this is where I can't wrap it around. I can't wrap my head around it. Like, how do you have thoughts that don't have a voice? Like, you a know lot of people were just saying it was visuals. That was the people that said they don't have a voice in their head is they see things rather than hear words. Hear them. Okay. Huh. That confuses me. Who's taking the videos gate? Uh, I see a lot of people continually speaking of Amos Peaches. Just came strolling over. Amos Peaches. So are you going to ignore that question, Dave? I've already said of... there's a million different people taking the videos. I have Daniela, my assistant. I have my Carmen, my housekeeper. I have Austin okay. taking videos have occasionally. Have housekeeper taking videos? If I got to make content. Wow, he doesn't give up. Hey. Miss Peach is needed by the world. Give Austin a raise, dude. Just know, dude just knows Dave inside and out and keeps him on track. Okay, whatever. <laughs> I'm not choose the comments. <laughs> you also are sick. <laughs> not true. Dave was definitely bullied in high school. False. <laughs> were you bullying or were you just a nice guy? I was not getting bullied and I'm not a bully. I don't bully people. Uh -huh. Like if you're going to say I'm bullying Brooke Allman, I'm not. Book Allman was trying to bully someone else, and then she got stuffed in a locker and put an atomic wedgie, and it's her fault. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you bully the bullies. Yes. You're a bully bullier. Dave aging like milk. That's bad. And by the way, I, uh, by the way. <laughs> it's not like, good, oh. man. It's not good. I'm pretty fucking old, so like. <laughs> but also, if they looked at pictures of you younger. I don't yeah. think they would say that. Uh, You're aging. You look better now than you correct. used to look insane. Well, I think they meant to. I, yeah, I say don't like agree with fine, this. I, I laughed. think they meant to write don't fine agree. wine. They're confused with yeah. milk does. There's an asterisk. It says fine wine. On yeah, it curdles yeah. actually. Asshole. Yeah. How are they going to tease us, telling us about Josh spilling the tea about Charlie and Landon like that? Yeah, I'd want to know too, but you can't because we'll get. Sick. I would too. Yeah, we'll go to prison with I Taylor. Would too. Yeah, I would too. If Dave wasn't a part of this, nobody would watch. It sucks to be you guys. Damn. What are we, Josh? <laughs> Nothing. Fucking A. Dave and Bree are quite literally my favorite people. Sorry, Josh. Still getting to know you, LOL. There Still must be getting a, to know there me. Must what, be a is nice this your Joshua first episode up. on the pod? Well, the, all the other ones just told Josh how sexy he was. True. True. True that. But did she like, is this her first episode that she watched or something? Like, how does she, Maybe she know y'all? Does she exclusively she just watch like Plan B and Miss contest. Peach's videos? The only thing Dave yeah. cares about and used to measure life is looks. Meanwhile, it looks like a turd. That's mean on a lot of levels, but wildly untrue. <laughs> yeah. When have I ever said I, the only thing I care about is looks. 
Maybe they just say that because you always talk about your list, but you're just uh, getting your list out there so that people know what you think. That doesn't mean look at Emily Rajkowski. Perfect example. I said she's hot and I don't like her. So I don't know what we're talking about. Case closed. Oh. All right, guys, uh, back from our friends at Visible. Draining a half-court buzzer beater to win the game is not easy, but switching to Visible and saving on wireless with no hidden fees, yeah, that's pretty easy. So you can switch to Visible, the wireless company, with nothing to hide and get one-line wireless with unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. It's just $25 a month, every month, tax and fees included. Every time I read this ad, I feel like I'm lying, but it's that cheap. It's $25 a month, and there's no hidden fees. It's taxes and fees included. So there's nothing to hide, no hidden fees, no gossip. Watches, unlimited 5G data powered by Verizon. You can bench wireless with hidden fees and switch to Visible. So switch now at Visible.com. Rate with service on the Visible plan. For additional terms and network management practices, you can see Visible.com. Make sure to switch now at Visible.com. Let's get back to the show. Yeah. It made me sad I, to see all the mean comments. I love this show. I laugh so hard every episode. There we go. Thanks, crazy yeah. peeps. Yep. Shout out to crazy, crazy peeps. I would pay to see a video of Dave uh, reviewing and reacting to Saltburn. This is the guy when it's he drinks the idea. cum. Yeah. yeah, drinks the cum out of like. The, Yo, that would be that would be a pretty funny live stream though. I would like, like to watch you watch. That'd be that a pretty too. good BFFs live stream thing of just having to have Dave sit through Saltburn with us. I haven't seen it either, so it'd also be my first time. Oh, we should. Can't tell if I look at Dave as an A-list celebrity or a C-list. I think that's both a compliment. Is there B-list? I think both is a compliment for sure. I yeah. take C. I, I, just I, I, I don't care. But, I mean, if C. someone said, hey, Dave, you're C-list, I'd be like, all right, fine. At least I'm a celeb. Yeah, C is not F. No. Josh has shiny, luscious <laughs> lips. They look in full. Aha. <laughs> okay. Let's get it. Looking at Those safe. lips. <laughs> Dave needs to wear more greens. His hat is making his eyes pop. I have green eyes. Anytime I have green, people say the sweetest things about my eyes. Wait, do you have green eyes, Dave? I have underwater BG bungalow blue eyes, to All be right. honest. Right. They're blue. There's the green hat. Those eyes popping. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. Dave and Austin's relationship, like Michael Scott and Toby's relationship from the office. No, I don't hate Austin at all. Michael Scott hates Toby. I don't hate Dave. Wow, look at this. <laughs> it's adorable. Uh, he's such a cornball. How did y'all let these people get famous? Okay. Is Are that all of us? Sure, he's referring to me. I think he's yeah, that was, a, that, was, that was referring to a comment about you, yeah. Uh, oh, about who? Josh. Well, oh, at least um, he has good. luscious lips. Cut yeah, at least my <laughs> lips are luscious. I'm going to kiss your mother. Me. I love Dave and talk about him any chance I can. So I'll fight your haters for you, Dave, including Austin. Not a hater. Damn. I, I, yeah, I can handle myself, but thank you. That was nice. Responding to the comments and eating the rude ones shows why y'all are solid. Thanks, Scott Mac. <laughs> oh, did you do something with your lips? Why is everyone yeah, talking about your lips? lips. Comments about it. Oh, my God. I had, I had really chapped lips. Like really, really chapped lips on on the verge of almost bleeding at any moment. And I just slathered them with Vaseline before the podcast. So it kind of looked like I had almost like lip a liner lip or filler. something on my lips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it's, does it's same sound like the what Shane. some a guy who got lip fillers would say though. No, but now my now it's if you look, there everyone will be like, Oh, they're back to like got, got it. You were just chapped if you, up. If you go look, it's very different. Yeah, there's not it's not like it was bruising. Lip filler's like crazy, dude. Dave isn't scary, it's just New England blunt. Those of us from the northeast are that way. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. I'm not trying to be scary. <laughs> the only people that like him are the people he signs their check. That's not true. That's just not true. Dave has oh. friends. Bree is very witty. Seemingly always surprises me. Thank you, Spencer Lauro. That was kind of though a backhanded like. Yeah, yeah like, oh, a little backhanded. I thought she was like dummy. He, he yeah. thought you were dumb. That's Spencer right. thought you were an idiot, Bree. That's all right. Dave reads the headlines like he's Judge Judy. Yeah, that's kind of your role. That <laughs> Dave's voice is actually soothing for me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how people hate on you three like that because genuinely if I could meet anyone, it would be you guys. Just never forget there's people out there that genuinely fucking love you guys and that includes me. 
Oh, very sweet. Wow. Yeah, that's so beautiful. sweet. What a one to end on. All right, Great that wraps it up. That wraps, that wraps up this it episode. up. We'll see you guys next Christmas time. Present. Bye, guys. Peace.